In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a clustered bar chart of means and a clustered line chart of means. To do this, we need one scale variable, and we need to split it by a category and cluster it by another category. So I'm going to look at the mean total competency score using total competency variable, and I'm going to split it by the variable age groups and then I'm going to cluster it by gender. So I'm going to get a bar for males and females. So we're going to use the chart builder. So if you go to graphs, chart builder, I'm going to reset to clear my gallery and we're going to start with the bar chart. So I'm going to drag it or double click it in. I want the clustered bar chart this time. And I want a bar for males and females. So I'm going to drag gender to my cluster on X variable. And I want age groups along the bottom as my categorical variable. I forgot to change this to ordinal, so I can do that here by right-clicking on it. I'm going to drag age groups to the bottom. So those will be my categories along my x-axis. And I want to show total competency score before they start their job. So I'm going to drag that to count, which is the y-axis. And you notice me automatically appears. I also want to display error bars, so I'm going to tick that box and click Apply. And you'll see that they'll appear in the gallery. And click OK. So you'll see I've got a warning from SPSS, which tells me that one or more of my error bars have yielded infinite results. And I can see that's from my 56 and over males. And it's probably because I only have one participant that is male and 56 or over. So it cannot create accurate error bars. So if I was going to present this in a paper or do it again, I wouldn't use error bars um, or I would redo my age groupings. But this does show a bar for male, a bar for females, and the height of each bar is the mean competency score. So let's do that again for a line chart. So go to back to graphs and chart builder, and I'm going to hit reset. And from the left, I'll choose line, and I'm going to choose the second one, which is a clustered line. Again, I'm going to drag gender to my set color, which is my cluster, and I need to change age groups to ordinal, drag it to the x-axis, and then total competency to my y-axis. Again, mean automatically appears. This time, I'm not going to display error bars because I saw what happened with the bar chart of means, and I would get the same error. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Here's the clustered line chart of means. I have a blue line for male and a separate line for females. My age groups are along the bottom as my categories, and each of the points along the line represent the mean total competency for each age group for males and females separately.